I think that the first lesson is the value of gratitude. I'm going to share something personal. Some years ago, on the advice of a close friend, every morning I started making a list of things that had happened in the previous day that I needed to be grateful for. And it turned out to be a surprisingly long list, day after day. During the pandemic, that list doubled and tripled in length because there was so much more to be grateful for every day. It wasn't a premium sports car or a fine watch or an Italian suit that I found myself grateful for. I was grateful for the simplest, and the most basic things in life. Good health, a warm bed, food on the table, a roof over my head, and most of all, for the great gift of being amongst people who love me. The price of these simple things is way higher than the costliest jewels. And as long as you value these things and are grateful for them, you will make your own happiness. I truly believe that all of you have now learned the hard way how to be extremely grateful for what you do already possess and for the simplest elements of a good life. The second great lesson was about resilience. In my case, I know that my business stayed on track because the people who worked there showed amazing resilience, just as you did. Each of you is an inspiring example of resilience. For you, life changed overnight. In a very crucial year, schools closed, but you adapted quickly. You faced constraints, but you found creative solutions to overcome them. You learned to study online. You gave your exams without physical proximity. You sent off your university applications. You pursued your post-school educational goals. You used hard technology to sustain the softer aspects of life, such as friendships and camaraderie. Life turned upside down, but you did not let it keep you down. And that is called resilience. You know now in your gut that life may knock you down many times, but you have it in you to bounce back up each and every time. It's an invaluable lesson to have learned at this stage in your life. The third great learning is that you began to recognize and appreciate how much our welfare depends on the welfare of others. When the crisis first struck, not many of you would have spared even a minute to think about how the pandemic could shatter lives. Lives of the people who clean your homes, cook your food, sweep the roads, pick up your garbage, drive your cars, build your homes, look after your health and comfort. It was not until you saw those pictures of migrant families walking the highways in the hot summer sun, without food, without water, that you would probably even thought of what it must be like to walk a mile in their shoes or barefoot. But after that, I'm sure you realize that their departure made your lives and your work so much more difficult. It hit home to you that the poorest of the poor are the foundations on which our economic prosperity and the quality of life depends. No man is an island. And the pandemic has taught you that our welfare lies in taking care of the welfare of others.